do you know students bringing small changes in your habit is going to do a lot of improvement in your academics you want to know how let us get into this video So students, your first contribution will be fine when you get to know that your time is scheduled properly. You know why? Because if you do not schedule your time properly, there is going to be initial confusion. You will not know what to do, right? And you could have seen that many successful people, they have scheduled their time up to the mark. So students, the first step that you should need to follow to bring in a positive habit in your studies is have an effective time management. And when I say effective time management, create a schedule for you. You know your own schedule, create a schedule for you. Create the different tasks, a lot of time for enjoying, a lot of time for studying, a lot of time for extracurricular activities. Because if you do not allot time, you will not know where is your time going. And if you spend or waste time, my friend, you are going to lose a lot of time and you will not be able to know where your time is running away. So students, first thing, make sure that you have account of your own time. So that's why this is one of the first steps that is required for a better study habit. Please make sure that you do this. Second thing is constant study routine. You know, our body and our brain likes a routine. Let it be any type of habit. Let it be waking habit. Let it be sleeping habit, eating habit, or even studying habit. Brain likes a routine. So this is a very important thing that you need to do is to create a study routine for you. If you fail to create a study routine, students, you are going to face it very difficult. Because studying routine is going to help you to get more retention. It is going to make your study more effective. You will be able to, once you get into the routine, the brain will know that this is the time that he is going to study. This is the time. This is the time that he is go, he or she is going to use his brain or her brain. That's the reason why the brain will prepare itself. So you, what I want you to do is take a proper time. Take any time that is free for you for your studies. Yeah, you might be having tuitions. You might be having homeworks. But as I told you, create a schedule and create a routine. Maybe I will say that early morning is the best time. Early morning is the best time. And even I remember that when I used to study maths and science, it was the early morning time. And I used to love that early morning time. So students, make sure that you are having a study routine. And this study routine is going to help you a lot. You have to test and try this seriously it's going to help you a lot the third thing is students active participation during the classroom now many teachers you would have heard saying please participate in the class please participate in the class activities there is a reason why do they say this and it's very much important for you to participate in a classroom activity, classroom discussion, or anything that happens in classroom. Ask many questions. You know, teachers love students who ask a lot of questions. See, you asking questions is one of the way to have better understanding of the subject. So let me tell you students, please do ask a lot of questions. When you are in classroom that is the time when the knowledge is coming towards you and if you do not participate remember when you are trying to gain a knowledge try to have an interaction between the person who's giving the knowledge the teacher and once you interact with the person who's giving the knowledge you are going to have a lot of 
better understanding than compared to what you did without asking questions without getting into in class involvement this is going to this class engagement is going to enhance your understanding of the subject because you will remember okay i asked this question ah uh, yeah i remember that i was thinking about it i discussed this with that teacher so once you get involved in classroom discussion it is going to enhance your understanding so please try it i know there are many students who are introverts i was an introvert i was an introvert and uh, yeah but being introvert is not going to help you if you feel that you're introvert i know that it will not change in uh, one single day but try changing it if you're directly not able to ask your teacher try asking your peers around then slowly slowly you see that there's a lot of improvement coming in you so you must try this fourth point is have a organized workplace or study place now look at your study area do you have a study table look at your study table if you have a study table well and good some people are there who are like on the bed some people two legs straight on the bed writing like this on the bed on the floor once you do not have a proper organized work area so i'm telling you student it's very difficult for you to concentrate and be productive it's very difficult for you you need to have a organized study place have your own table okay as i told you the, your brain likes routines have your own table have your own things have a clutter free environment distractions should be out don't have phone with you don't have video game nothing should be there in your hand when you are in study place please remove the distractions social media is there to distract you but not my video please this video is not for distracting you understand that it is to give you knowledge yeah but do watch my videos when you have time but other than that please do have distraction less studies that is going to help you a lot so have a proper organized study area keep your books accordingly keep your things accordingly do not put it here and there because if that place is not organized you are going to get distracted you will be looking at it and let me tell you you will not be productive so make sure that your workplace or oh sorry i would say your study place is very organized this is this is even applicable for workplaces but right now you're not working so remember this carry forward this your behavior when you are working too fifth point is have regular revision so this is a very common word that you all must be hearing do revision do revision do revision but let me tell you the importance of doing revision you must have i don't know if you have heard or heard it or not but there is something called curve of forgetting or curve of forgetfulness our memory does go down imagine i study some concept today like a physics concept or any concept today there is a tendency that i will be forgetting it in a certain amount of time and if i need to retain that memory i need to revise with a proper schedule okay i need to revise it with a proper schedule and once that revision keeps happening your memory will stay for a longer period of time that particular concept that you learned you will not forget it i know that many students want to remember a certain thing want to remember a formula until examination after that you don't care i know that but yeah you have to care about it until your exam at least right so if you want to remember that until your examination what you should do do proper revision because forgetting even a normal human forgets everything even the bestest of students i will say bestest that's a wrong word in english even the best student i will say that 
forgets things but what makes the best student stand out is the revision schedule that student has so please make sure that you are having a proper revision schedule and the sixth point is have a healthy lifestyle i know this is very general point but the most important point one of the crucial point is that have a healthy lifestyle let me tell you students you all are young but you know in that young age there are many students who are involved in some things that are not good or some things that are not wrong i have been teaching in schools and i have seen what students bring to schools i can't tell you here but there are so many things which are not good students bring to school and they have so many bad habits that which is not supposed to be there for them at that particular age so students have a healthy lifestyle have a healthy physical lifestyle have a healthy mental lifestyle i know because the exam preparations can be a lot of it can give you a lot of mental stress so make sure that you are able to overcome the stress if you are a j student if you are a neat student there is going to be a lot of stress on you if you are a final year student who is preparing for the examination cbse or ivdp or any examinations you are going to have a lot of mental pressure so make sure that you have proper relaxing technique you do workout workout is good i'm not saying to go to gym and lift 500 kilos i'm not saying that i'm just telling you have a proper physical movement that's enough proper physical movement proper sports many people are in sports so make sure that you are in sports and you are spending a good time there so let me tell you health is very important if you are not healthy i doubt that anything will go inside this if you are not mentally free if you are not mentally stable nothing is going to go inside this i have tried it it doesn't happen if your brain has to open your brain has to be healthy and healthy brain is going to make you successful eh come to sleep many people boast to me saying that sir i sleep only 4 hours or 3 hours a day not at all good if you do, if not, you do have not have 7 hours, hours of, sleep, of sleep your brain, your brain has, has, has not taken rest. rest you are putting your brain into trouble and that is going to increase the mental strain on you if you do not sleep properly make sure that you sleep for 7 hours there is no requirement for you to lose your sleep and study if you have a proper time schedule if you have a proper routine you are not going to lose your sleep so make sure that you sleep well too and seventh and the last point is have a effective note taking habit many students don't have this i know i have seen many students who don't not take note properly so taking notes is something very important students right it is going to help you to re- the time of revision have a organized note you can color code them also you you can even color code your notes you know when you are taking notes during a class that is also one of the example that you are actively participating in the class right when you take notes you are writing something and when you write something it is going to enhance or it is going to register in your mind in a much better way right it is going to register in your mind in a much 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 better way so please students make sure that you have an organized note you have a proper visual aids like diagram sticky notes something you can have a proper visual aids because once you have everything organized and arranged your revision which is one of the important point is going to become very much easy and revision becomes very much easy of course your effectiveness is, as a student is also becoming a lot so these are the ways how you can be you can develop a effective habits these are some of the habits which are going to make you effective 
as a student and it's going to get you fetch you more laurels and achievements than what you are having i know that everybody might not have the same routine or same habits but if you do not have start it today you can start it today and i'll say that it is not possible it's not possible to do everything in one single day it is not possible to get done and be perfect in one single day it takes time it does take a lot of time but please make sure that you start by today it takes a lot of patience to master these habits but once you master this habit after that you're not coming back it has been told that one habit takes 21 days to get completely get going 21 days to 30 days so if you start by now you can expect by a month you might be kind of good in doing these things so make sure that you are starting it by today it's a very slow process but the fruit of this slow process is going to change your life so make sure that you are starting it by today so i hope this video worked out for you i hope this video is going to ignite some thought in your mind and with that i will end my video so until next time adios hello students i hope you found this useful this video was interesting for you now students as a part of my journey to make physics easy for you i have started an initiative and that is i am going to help the students who are in their ibdp level who are going to take their asa level examination and those who are in cbsc going to take the cbsc examination i am going to provide one to one training for you and in this one to one training i mean that it's going to be a personal attention i will be taking class for you sub personally and also i am going to make a road map for you until your examination so i am ready to help for you in physics and to be successful in the particular examination that you are going to take but students let me tell you my time is limited so i might not be able to take everyone who is registering so it's better first come first so and students i hope this thing will be useful for you and if you want to register please click in the link below and do not forget to like share and subscribe to physics revolution so until then adios